you know, it's pretty straightforward to mass produce something. You come up with an idea, then you figure out which kind of machines can cut it to size and what kind of shape you're going to have. And you program these CNC machines or, or put them on special tools that will mill them out. But, but I, I don't work that way. See, I make custom walking sticks or walking staffs, as I like to call them, because mine are usually a little bit bigger. And every one of my walking sticks or staffs has a story behind it because every one of them comes from a tree that I had to remove for one reason or another. And in a small way, I like to give back a little bit of the dignity to the, this. As you can see here, this is a nice piece of pear that I took out of the center of this log. I had to put it on the big bandsaw and have it and then quarter it and then have the quarters to get the grain and I'm trying to get the optimum shape never straight I don't like walking sticks that look like they were manufactured in a shop the next thing I do is I take it to the workbench and I use the spoke shave and the, the draw knife sometimes I use the shaving horse here but staffs are sometimes a little bit long for that spoke shaves and each one of these is set to a different thickness. You see the shavings come off just really, really nice. If I have some harsh cutting, I will convert to the draw knife. I've got this one down to where I'm using the finest spoke shave, and I wanted to set it to do the, the finest shaving. And I've showed you this spoke shave before. This is my all-time favorite. It dates back to the 1700s the late 1700s. It was a handmade tool and I can feel the, I don't know, I can feel the workers of ancient times working all day long. When I use this tool, I can go back in my mind into a better time where people worked a little bit differently, a little bit more methodically. I don't know if it was a better time or not, but it seems to have been a purer, a purer time, especially for woodworking. A lot of the staffs that I make, I try to work them while they're still green, because if you work them green, you get these kind of shavings and no sawdust and no powder that comes off of here. And I also like the real organic feel that I get. You know, I, I'm not a purist. I, I'll, I'll use power tools. But there's something very satisfying about working something down with your hands and keep feeling the, the shape, keep working. That, that fits my hand and the taper just feels right. The height of it, the top of it, everything about it, it sort of evolves. And I know the walking staffs that I make are kind of configured to my size and my shape. They can be cut down to fit anybody. You know, the height of it is the most important thing. The next important thing is the grip. The grip can be worked down a little bit as well. Sometimes I carve them, sometimes I leave them clean. Depends upon the wood. Now this particular piece is quite an exceptional piece of wood. It's got some color in it. And when I freshly cut it, the red in this pear was just, it was just glowing. And I'm hoping that when I polish it up and put a finish on it, that that deep, dark, dark red comes out again. I can see it does when I make the, the slices here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But that deep, dark red, when it dries out, it's not quite that color. But I think when I put the, put the finish on it, if I put an oil finish on it, I think that'll bring that, that coloration back. I do like making these things. And I really like it when I give one to a friend who really needs it and they find that it changes their lives. It's just a stick. but it's a special stick. Okay, quite a collection of sticks that are 
in process of drying. Here's the one I'm just working on now. There's a piece of birch there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. That's a really nice piece of wood. That was a graft. I think I showed that in an earlier video. I just cut this piece of walnut. That was a scrap piece that had some really beautiful character in it. Every one of these is going to evolve and one by one they'll start coming into a final state. This one is almost done. This one here has got a little bit of a carving on it. Let's see what we got there. Yeah, it needs work. It's getting there. A few more coats of oil and it'll be ready for a gift. My daughter really wants me to sell these things. I'm kind of afraid of going into business selling walking sticks because part of the pleasure of doing it for me is giving them to somebody who needs them. There's a lot of you out there that might have a family member or maybe you might need one. And if you do, drop me a line. Let me know. Let me know what your need is and why you think a walking stick would benefit you. I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate all the comments on this channel. I've had a lot of fun working on this channel for many years and I felt like I feel like I've built a community of followers. A lot of you I see their comments come up all the time. Some of you are even woodworkers. I try to do about 10% of my videos as woodworking videos. That's a passion of mine, but the channel is really about the trees and the tree care. A little bit about my shop here. So anyway, like I said, drop me a line. Thanks a lot.